Welcome back. And if it is your first time here, hi, I'm Isabella. And on this channel, we will cover resources and tips to help you along your language learning journey. I hope that you will find the following helpful and enjoyable. Let's get started. Good morning again. This reading will be of chapter five, which is monkey business. And as a recap, this is a little girl called Junie B. Jones, and she sometimes gets into a little bit of trouble at school or with her friends. And I read these stories to my girls when they were younger, and I really enjoyed it. These stories have a little bit of innocent childish humor in them, and they're lots of fun. If this is your first time joining me, I strongly recommend that you stop this recording now and that you start from the beginning, from chapter one. That way you know exactly what's going on with the story and you can follow along. So if you're ready, let's get started. Miss is called my name. Junie B, would you like to go next? She asked. Then I jumped right up, and I ran speedy fast to the front of the room. Guess what? I said, very excited. Last night, my mother had a baby, and it's the boy kind. Mrs. clapped her hands. Junie B. Jones has a new little brother, everyone, she said. Isn't that wonderful? Then all of room nine clapped, too. Yes, only you haven't heard the bestest part yet i said very loud because guess what else he's a monkey that's what else my new brother's a real alive baby monkey mrs got a funny look on her face and she squinted her eyes very tiny and so maybe she didn't hear me or something i think i said i've got a monkey brother i shouted real louder <laughs> then that mean Jim jumped right up from his desk, and he hollered, Liar, liar, pants on fire. No, they are not on fire, you big fat Jim, I said back. I do, too, have a monkey brother. You can ask my Grandma Miller if you don't believe me. Mrs. raised her eyebrows way up on her head. Your grandmother told you that your brother is a monkey? She asked me. Yes, I said. She told me he has long fingers and long toes and lots of black fur all over himself. After that, Mrs. kept on looking and looking at me. Then she said it was time for me to sit down. Yeah, only I'm not done telling the children about my monkey brother yet, I explained. Because guess what else? His wallpaper has pictures of his jungle friends on it, and his bed has bars on the sides. But I'm going to teach him to not bite or kill people. <laughs> then his boy named Ricardo, who has cute freckles on his face, said, Monkeys are cool to me. I know they're cool, Ricardo, I said. And guess what else? Maybe I can bring him to school on bed day. <laughs> Then Ricardo smiled at me, and so he might be my boyfriend, I think, except for there's a boy in room eight who already loves me. Just then, Mrs. stood up and pointed at me. That's enough, Junie B., she said. I want you to sit down now. You and I will talk about this monkey business later. And so that made me giggle, because monkey business is a funny word. I think. Then I waved goodbye to my new boyfriend, Ricardo, and I skipped back to my seat. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you have suggestions about any other topics that you would like to hear, please let me know in the comments. Have a great day and happy learning.